Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, man, what's happening? Ah, uh, you know, just like everybody else is stuck. Stuck. <laughs> stuck. I mean, I mean, we're, we're, it's not that we're stuck, but, you know, we gotta, we, I think we have to kind of, or I uh, intend to kind of obey things that are going on, because first of all, I don't want to get sick. Second of all, yeah. I don't want to get anybody sick, God forbid. I even am asymptomatic for it, or may not, you know, I may be able to give it to somebody else, so it's very hard to, to kind of test that out. And also the same thing with seeing people. It's like, who you been with? Six feet away? I can say hi from here. We're good. You know? Yeah, I'm... I've resorted to taking long romantic walks with a guy named Jeremy Spun, uh, <laughs> six feet away from each other. Desperate Sorry. times calls for desperate measures. But I feel you. He brings the Tito's. He See, but well, that's a Tito's. smart man. That's that's a smart man. Well, I saw yeah. that. I saw you guys were sitting on a porch like a bunch of old people in Brooklyn, sitting straight on up. a porch like being stoop ball or something or in Queens. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the plastic bag too? The paper bag. All day, all day. That, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jeremy called me up and he tried speaking to him. We'll talk about him for two seconds because then, because if we talk, it'll, it'll go on forever. And yeah. people be like, who's this dude? But he actually called me and was like, hey, man, I'm going to, I may try to fly, I'm going to drive to my, to Orlando to play golf with Joe and then I'm going to stay at your house. He goes, no, you ain't. I love you. <laughs> I respect you. But your ass is not coming in my house. No, and you're no, not no, staying no. and it's not because I don't love you. I don't know what other thing you have touched or been around. Yeah, and it's no, no disrespect to nobody. 100%. And, yeah. Well, you know, you know, most of the guys that I know are being really, really, guys and girls, are being really safe. You know, a lot of the people that we're seeing out there, yeah, I, I know somebody who caught it, actually. And it was a, unfortunately, an older woman. In the last two weeks, she only went to CVS and Walgreens once each, and she caught it. But uh, generally, uh, most people are, are, are abiding by the rules of being safe. But I'm watching TV, and some people, some people are going to church with 200 people. You know, hugging people, and then they come out. And the reporter's like, "Why are you doing that?" And they'd be like, "Well, I got the blood of Jesus all over my body." And I'd be like, hey. "I'd be like, but hey, don't I, Jesus I want don't... you to stay home, right? right. And, and worship from home? You can worship <laughs> Why can't from you home. do that? There's nothing, but there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with turning on TV. And I know that a few people were doing it where they were having a mass where it was like two people, three people videotaping it, and people can watch it. Why not do that yeah. for now? Oh, why not? And it's only for it's going to be for a few months. I mean, let's let's That's not it. let's not BS people. I think it's going to be for a little while longer than what people think. Uh, I mean, I mean, much longer than people think. Not, not necessarily the, the virus itself, but things aren't going to get back to normal. I mean, who's going to? All right, the day after everybody say you can go out, who's going to want? I mean, there's somebody, but who's going to really right. want to go to a restaurant right next to a bunch of people? Right, or the or mass on audience. A plane. Hey, we're going to do a concert. We should all go to a show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, no it, way. Yeah. No way. You know, and, and again, it's it's. It's not that you don't trust anybody or everybody, but you just don't know. That's the thing. What you drinking? Well, let me ask you. Um, this, this, uh, I don't know what this is. That bubbly stuff. Oh, I thought you were like drinking, drinking. I thought it was happy hour. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not but, yet. but as somebody who performed and and does still perform and stuff like that, what do artists do now who can't go to the concerts? Because I'm I'm looking to be able to see, you know. Um, you know, Beyonce playing a banjo on for on a video for two dollars now. I mean, I'm why I'm not? Trying get, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get discounts. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. And it's happening though. You know, being the entrepreneur that you are, there's a lot of discounts that are going on right now. I'm sure. <laughs> but Cuban, Cuban <laughs> said, like, Cuban said he's in, he's investing in Live Nation now. I, I'm, I'm sure maybe Cuban's a brilliant, brilliant investor, but. If they can't do live concerts, do they have assets? Maybe um, you know. The cool thing about it is with technology, obviously, is, is one of the best things. And I just saw not too long ago, and I know Billy Eilish, uh, uh, Eilish did it. Um, even um, Tenacious D did it. A couple people did it. Where with the VR, virtual reality. I've had, I have the right. Oculus Rift and the Oculus Quest. You're right. able to watch a concert or a show in VR as if you're sitting there, and then you have avatar people that you're next to each other. And guess what? You're not completely in contact, but yet you feel like you're in the audience or in the crowd, even though it's avatars and it's digital, except right. for the real person, you know, shooting it. And they have different camera angles, too, so it switches different camera angles. So if you ever want to watch a live concert, there's a couple of videos on Oculus and on VR that you could actually watch as if you're in there. Now, obviously, you can't see everything, but I think right. that might be a cool outlet for people to do because it, it, it really feels like you're in the room. That's the cool thing about it. Same thing with the basketball games. Watching, you know, old basketball games right now, to get the entertainment, to get that fix if some people are into sports, possibly be able to do something like that as well. But um, with, with Mark actually getting and 
investing into them and be some of the sleeve that he has or something figuring out that's going to be in the social media world i think what about production though now uh you know i know you do a lot of hosting and tv shows and things are shut down i think we we usually film shark tank in june and september and i think that we are we haven't gotten the news yet on what we're doing i'm listen i already didn't like sitting next to mr wonderful in the first place so <laughs> you know uh you know it's good to have that space now yeah yeah so what are you guys gonna do now i mean you know well what's we, Hollywood yeah. doing? We talked. We talked. Actually, I talked to some of the head, head people from from uh, Game Show Network. Common knowledge. We were actually the the blessing for me is, is all my stuff that I'm supposed to be shooting is not shooting until September, August, and October. Any anything, any production stuff. Uh, I know that I'm I'm going to be doing stuff with Impractical Joker still, but that's obviously on hold because of the fact that they haven't shot their episodes yet. But with Common Knowledge, they said, okay, we, we're probably going to aim for August. Hopefully, we can. But we are going to shoot some. But the beauty part is. Is there still new episodes? Not a whole lot now, but there's still right. new episodes in the can that are being aired at and the moment. Cut. Okay. okay. But what I thought too is we're we're in a conversation where maybe we may have a common knowledge game on social media, either whether it be IG or Facebook or something like that, to where we get normal day every people maybe win some prize and stuff like that, just to keep the morale going and keep the the show going because I think it's just such a great show anyway. It could be something that's easy and fun to do on social media. Okay, got it, got it. So what else you got going on, brother? Just that a whole lot of a whole lot of this a whole lot of of, of interaction and talking. Uh -huh. It feels like you know because I'm talking to myself in a room, but of course I'm talking to you and talking to everybody else out there. But yeah. I think for me, it's like you know just taking one step at a time. It's so funny because people are like, "Oh my gosh, I have nothing to do now because I cleaned my whole house, I wiped down everything, I did laundry, I did this," and I was like, "Cool." I'm like, "What'd you do?" I go, "Nothing." I'm like, what do you mean? I go, "Cause mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my time because I know how yeah. much time we really have." So one mm -hmm. day I went and I cleaned out my closet. I got rid of some stuff. I found old uh, digital videotapes of all NSYNC stuff that I started watching and going through and labeling and nice. everything that, that nice. I never labeled before. So I'm doing things one day at a time. And then obviously for work, it's tough, man. I mean, again, just like anybody else, I know that, that we have been blessed to where we're at least be able to go, okay, you know what? I'm good for a bit. But yeah. people that are living paycheck to paycheck are not. And how is that affecting them? And just like even the production people, all the people that are on tour that have been on tour are now laid off or not even having a job or not even knowing. I mean, my brother works uh, as a video director. He was supposed to go on the road with Kelly Clarkson for four weeks. Done. That's not there. There's no checks. So, there's no nothing. So what are they doing now? What, what are people, what do you find as a suggestion for what people should do who are out of work right now? Depending on, well, I know a lot of people are collecting or trying to collect unemployment. That's, that's the hardest right. thing. Uh, right. I know a lot of people have been trying to flip and sell stuff at certain things, or they're taking taking things and trying to make things and trying to sell things that are uh, useful towards them. Um, it's, again, for me, not knowing, like, really going to nitty-gritty, I don't know, because I do know some people that are still working, though. My girlfriend's still working. She has a, uh, she's, she works for, like, a garbage uh, company, yeah. in a sense, but she's constantly, because there's always garbage. Same thing with hospitals and stuff like that, people that are working there. Or if you're really that cooped up, help out. Donate, yeah. deliver, do something. F figure out something to do to obviously keep your mind. Because being in a house for that long, it's so funny when, when you stay home, it's okay. But when people tell you you need to stay home, that's when people lose their mind all of a sudden. That's yeah, what I'm like saying. Huh? It's like house arrest. It's like house yeah. arrest. But I'm fine. I mean, I, I, you know what? I, I, you know, so, and I know some people are loving it. People that are introverts absolutely love it. <laughs> people that are, that, are, that are wanting to be out are, you know, are losing their minds. It's like, dude, you can go out. You just can't be with 80 million people or even 10. Just go out, take a walk, breathe the fresh air. Get your mindset, you know? I mean, what, what have you found out that people have been doing, though, as far as, as, far well, you as know, doing listen, that and you know, money? At the end of the day, the reality is that I've been through this, and I've shared it with a lot of people. I've been through this, and you've been through this, too. I mean, if you really think about, you know, your career, uh, you looked into reinvesting in yourself and finding ways to humble yourself and reach out to your contacts and your Rolodex. And what I try to tell people is, you know, don't treat this like Saturday. How are you? How are you preparing for the next time this happens? The next time not going to be a virus, but after the planes crash into the building, the next time was the 08 financial crash. After the 08 mm -hmm. financial crash, the next time was the virus. Before all that, it was the dot com bubble crash. You know, this yeah, happened, true. This has happened 47 times in our country after the Declaration of Independence right. was signed. Right, and people still losing their minds. And people still losing their minds. So how do you, how do you, how do you right now spend this time to educate yourself, 
whether it's financially, health wise, talent wise, podcast wise, to then <sighs> everything when you go out after this. Yeah, you don't let this happen to you again, and you're not at the you're not at the mercy of your boss because maybe your boss is making the wrong decisions to save his company. Now True. you're at the mercy of that person. How, how do you how do you become a Joey? Well, that's Cone? I've learned that at, I've learned that at a, at a young age in the sense of save your money, invest. That's yeah. that's the thing. Even when I mean, you want to talk about some business stuff. I was financially crappy towards like, gosh, it's, it's been a while now. But at one point, I, would, I had a big house and I was spending all this money and then in sync stopped. And I was still making great money, but I wasn't making the money I was making. So then you have to adjust. And then I start to yeah. go, okay, now I got to figure this out. If this ever happens again, God forbid, I need a backup plan or I need A, B, and C. Let me invest some of this money. Let me save some of this money. God forbid, like you said, every few years, something like this is going to happen and you need to kind of stack something, a little bit of something to have. And I know sometime where everybody's not able to do that or try to, and again, I've learned my lesson. I've gone into where I was just like, man, what am I going to do? You know, what, right. what, how do I figure this out and make this work? And this is other stuff way before. But now I know for a fact that I got to prepare myself and make sure that there is some sort of income of some sort of investment or whatever. And now, like you said, even being here right now and what I'm doing is preparing for other things right now. I'm not just sitting around on my ass doing absolutely nothing. I mean, I'm making yeah. the phone calls, making sure, okay, what's the next move? How can we make content that's going to work and be either, of course, yes, financially gaining a little bit, but also help other people, but also not make yourself go insane and make some sort of revenue to make the you're able to live. That's the thing. Yeah. And again, I always keep thinking about everybody paycheck to paycheck stuff. That's the hardest thing. No, nah, yeah. How do you make those long-term investments? Sometimes that long-term investment is shit just in your health. You know what I mean? Like, uh, how do you spend this time? I mean, I, I remember Warren Buffett said the most amazing thing. He said, you know, industries will come and go and, uh, uh, you know, shit like this will happen. He said, but the only thing will always say the same is yourself. How are you investing yeah. in yourself and your knowledge and how are you flipping yourself so when you get to another point, you can, you can keep, you know, giving yourself those tools to get out there. So, Well, I also so, talk yeah. to everybody. It's just the same thing when I'm talking to you. I'll talk to other people and just kind of see what they're doing as well and take my own assessment. And go, okay, well, that seems like that worked for that person. Let me see if I could try that. Or maybe that didn't sound good with that person. I ain't going to do what they did. You know, whatever that may be. Just so I that you, you know, by just like people too. 100%. Constantly learning. Constantly. I mean, I've talked to some people that are like, again, I got a phone call going, hey, I ain't going to pay my rent. I'm not going to be able to pay this. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to do. I'm like, calm down. Take it one step at a time. Let's figure out what's going on. Are you healthy? Yes. Are you alive? Yeah. Yes. Do you have a roof over your head? Yes. Okay. Well, everybody's in the same boat you're in. It's not just you. Everybody always thinks, oh, it's me. I, oh, my God, I can't. It's everyone. Well, you know what? A lot of people, a lot of people sometimes, in the, let's, let's, let's even play it at a different level. A lot of times in the past, it was just you. But today, with this global pandemic, it's not just you. So here's the best part I've been telling people. You could have called somebody a month ago and they would have been like, man, I'm doing great or I'm too busy or, you know, that's not for us. Everybody's fucked up now. So you can call everybody and say, yo, what can we do together? And everybody's like this. What's up? What's up? What you got? 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 So True. this is the best time. Even in my, with my employees, I had said to my employees, I hired all of you because you were smarter than me. And I don't want you to let me down. So anybody here with an idea who's never been acknowledged in the company or we didn't want to do it, we were too busy or you see some opportunity. Now's your time to speak up yeah. because now's the time that I'm going to uh, allow us to make those mistakes and take those chances. And my employees stepped up and I was like, damn, why didn't you tell me that two months ago? And they were like, I did tell you two months ago, you idiot. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> That's good, though. I'm glad that, 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 you're, that, you're, that you're doing that. And I think that's everybody, though. You're right. Everybody's, everybody's ears are opening and listening because now they all want to help. Before, it felt like a competition. It doesn't feel like that now. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, come on my show. I'll come on your show. It's this and that. And it's like, yeah, because we're all in this together to kind of have the conversation and to find out what works and what doesn't and how everybody's feeling and how everybody's dealing with it. It's just like you said, people are usually like, oh, man, I'm doing great. What are you doing? Well, you know, I got this lined up. And that. Now you're like, what do you got going on? Nothing. Why? Well, I can't get out of my house, really. I mean, yeah, things yeah. are locked. Every gyms, <laughs> even gyms. People can't, people can't go to yeah. the gym. They can't do nothing in that sense. You used to be like, yo, I don't know. I don't want to bother Damon. He's going to play this and that. You know, everybody's at home and pissed <laughs> off. So you my thing. Have you been snacking like crazy or have you been like? Man, I'm going to be the most in shape, fattest person you've ever seen. I'm going to be like this 
with a belly that just curves like way out there. <laughs> See, it's crazy for me. I I don't know. I haven't been not that, I, and it's not even that I'm stressed out. I think just mentally, I've just been like, okay, I got to make sure I don't eat everything in the house. But then again, I'm going to eat something. But I've been very picky about what, like, I haven't been eating a whole lot of crap. It's weird. I think I've lost weight right now as opposed to gaining weight at the moment. Well, I'm walking, but I know one I'm week it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm walking about eight, <laughs> I'm walking about probably about six to eight miles a day. I'm working out, and then I'm eating an entire bag of Doritos and then a cake. I'm going to be the most in shape, out of shape person you've ever seen in your life. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be the, I'm going to have the hardest belly you've ever seen. <laughs> How's everybody doing in your family though? Are they are they losing their minds or is it more or less of No, I good? thank God. You know, Everybody's safe. They're good. I know, you know, listen, I got a 3-year-old. She hasn't seen another child in, you know, almost 3 weeks. She's going out of her mind, but this is the first time that I've been able to really, you know, I didn't get to see my other daughters grow up because I was always on the road like we do, you know. Understood. Yeah. Um this, this is the first time I'm getting to really hang out with her. And she is absolutely yummy. So, so I'm having a good time doing that. Any um, school and, work? Do they have school and stuff as well? Yeah, they're doing this virtual thing, so two times a day. They're doing that. Same, yeah, yeah. She yeah, do so. well. It's crazy. We go. She go. My older one is in college, so she wants to lose her mind because they're throwing things at her left and right every day. Yeah. So she's constantly working every day. My little one, who's in third grade right now, she does schoolwork Monday through Friday every day. But they actually do a, 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 a classroom chat on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 in the morning. So I got to be up at 8.30 in the morning to go do that and then, yeah. and then start the day. But it's been pretty it, – it actually hasn't been that bad. The minute she starts talking about math problems and other stuff that I haven't touched in a long yeah. time, I'm like, yo, yeah, I well, can't, I, we got to talk to the teacher. <laughs> When my other ones were growing up, I'm listening. I'm pretty good with math. When my other ones were growing up and doing all those, 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 the things that we'll never use in school, I used to be like, man, I can't do it. But I wake up every morning with her really early morning, and I teach her uh, boxing, and I, I, I have her, you know, knee me as hard as she can in the groin. I wear this big groin pad because there's one thing about saying, hey, little, hey, baby, a little boy bothers you, just knee him. But there's another thing about really knowing how to, how to follow through with the knee, you know, right. and then the elbow. And then, um, and then I got these sign languages uh, flashcards because, you know, when our kids are, you know, in a room and they may feel uncomfortable, they don't have a cell phone or a text, so they, they may not be able to talk to us physically. Do like, so you know what? To sign me from across the room to, that's cool. to let me go what's going on. So doing a couple of things. <laughs> have, so. you, have you gotten to where it's so tied up now that you're just like, stop it, I'm going to kill all of you, like just lose your mind? Because I got into an argument with my older one. Well, we said a lot of words, and she said a lot of words that I haven't heard. No, about no, about. no, no. My older and ones I almost are not lost here. it. No, my <laughs> older ones. One is one is one is twenty seven, and the other one's uh, just graduating. She's over at FSU and just graduating, so um, they're not around. It's just me, the little one, and and my wife. Um, and my wife and I are having an amazing time. <laughs> you know, she's going to well, kill me part, one day. Yeah. The beauty part about it for me is, of course, me and my ex are divorced, and we are separated, of course, and not living in the same house. But we do have to, she takes care of them, because what we did now for right this moment, since when I usually travel and work, she usually has the girls, especially the little one. Of course, the other one's going to be in college, but now that the one is back in here and not in college, I get them for a week, she gets them for a week. So we go back and forth. Those are the only people that they've seen and gone back and forth. All right, all and right. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's so nice. <laughs> I have the kids for the week. I get to yeah. hang out, we play, we do stuff, and then they go for a week. And they bounce. And li wait, listen. And then you miss them. Of course. Nice but and listen. quiet. That's great. Nothing. Nothing. That but, great. of course, it's true. I mean, but here's the funny part. I FaceTime them every day. I'll face my little one. I'll FaceTime my older one. I'll call them up and say, hey, how's it going? What are you doing today? I mean, of course, we're all doing that. But it's funny. Have you noticed, is there some certain people, I'm sure Jeremy's one of them, that he'll call every day to ask, what's up, or what are you doing? And you yeah, know yeah, exactly... Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of people we, we hang on with like that. And then, then we're on playing Monopoly every single night um, online. We, we go on playing Monopoly every single night, me, me and my boys, because we like to... Really? Like, we need the negotiation. I'm missing right. the negotiations every day. Have you, so. play, have, you play, have you done any poker? There's an app. No, I don't play poker. On. I play Monopoly, and I'm trying to... There's another game. Uh, let me see the name of this game here. It's called... Oh, Catan. Oh, we're gonna start Catan. Katan. Katan. See, we play. We game. play poker. Poker. There's an app. There's one app that you actually have the video and you can see everybody. So we try to do our own personal poker tournament to where it's our buddies and our friends, 
And we sit there and we play and we just talk, which is great. And, and speaking of which, I was just saying about people, I, I don't know a whole lot of people that had the virus, but there was a friend of mine that brought a friend into the poker chat that had, that was older and had the coronavirus. And I was even just asking, I'm like, yo, I'm curious. I don't know much about it. I said, yeah. but how are you feeling? He's like, it was bad. He's getting better now. But Good. he was like, anytime he tried to talk, he was coughing. He was coughing up like white stuff. Started to get all a little detailed and nasty, yeah, but sure, stuff sure, like sure. that. He goes, but now it's on the up and up, which is great. You know, it's good to hear that. But I haven't heard a lot of, a whole lot of people yet. I've been hearing here and there. Another friend of mine in New Orleans ha has it. I heard New Orleans is getting hit really bad as well. Um, but it's just, it's just crazy, you know, just to see. Yeah. But it's like a lot of people, has anybody that you know has been affected? Yeah, unfortunately, I know about three people that passed from it. Um, wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I didn't know them. I didn't know them very, very well. One of my one of my ex employees, her father, went into the hospital in New York three weeks ago because he had low blood sugar and he got it in the hospital, uh, which is extremely sad, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, the other woman I told you about, uh, you know, who went to the store just twice. I know uh, Slim Thug. You know Slim Thug. I, yep. I don't know if you know Slim. He has it. Uh, he had it. He's just getting out of it. Um, yeah, I probably know about. I probably know about 30 people who have had it in some form or another. Um, uh, yeah, and I know about, about three people who passed, unfortunately. Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy. And I'm worried about Florida, you know, because Florida has an extremely old population, obviously. A lot of the retirees are down here, and I think that everybody's around. Everybody in the United States is 10 days behind, you know, New Orleans, yeah. Michigan, and uh, New York and Seattle, you know? Yeah, so. when, LA, when L.A. was getting hit real bad, my, girl was, my girlfriend's in there, and she was telling me about it, and the crazy thing was, is I knew that it was going to start getting bad, of course, in Orlando. And my dad, you know, you have our older, you know, the, our parents are just a little bit more thick headed, if you will, in a sense. Be like, yeah, ah, it's no sure. big deal. And I'm like, I go, I'm not really taking it 100% serious, meaning I'm not going to not see people per se. Like, I'm going to keep distance and everything and only see certain people. But I'm like, for my dad and for my mom, I'm like, keep your ass at home. Don't come out. If you need groceries, I will get them shipped. I will have them sprayed. Yeah. I will deliver it myself. I said, because there is such a high risk that I'm like, and my dad, for, at first, my dad was kind of like, oh, what are you talking about? I'm like, you better start watching some news now. Not everything, but you better start watching where there's things happening. It's better to be safe than sorry, I always say in that sense. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I did an IG Live with Dr. Oz, and he shared a, a, what I think is a good amount of stuff. He, he shared that, number one, it really generally, besides touching your eyes and whatever the case is, it comes in through your nostrils. That's where, it, that's where it mainly comes in through. Um, so he said, you know, if it happens to be touched on the food, you eat the food, it goes down in your body, you digest it, the acid, the acid in your stomach burn it. He said, but of course, goggle three times a day to clear it out of your mouth in the case it's in your mouth, you know, especially before you go to sleep. Because if, you had, if it was in your mouth a little bit, it'll, it'll uh, you know, whatever, it'll marinate. <laughs> that's a bad right. word for it, in your mouth and nose. Um, but I posted something, a link on my site on, uh, even when you're taking in boxes, whether you don't know the worker or the person handling it, right? So the box, so groceries and boxes, three days, you can leave them outside. After three days, it goes away. There's a bunch of rumors of when, when it goes away. After three days, it goes away. But you take a box. This is what I do on my porch. I take a box. Right. I open the box. The contents in the box. I hand it. My wife then takes the contents out of the box, right? Because that one, that, that content may have been touched by one person. But the box has been touched by the doorman, the touched by everybody by else, the UPS person, everybody else. I mean, these things are extreme. But even if you go and get a bag of chips from 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 pl some place, how do you know how those bag of chips were stacked? How do you know somebody, somebody else might have grabbed it for a second and put it back? Right. Take them out. Take the chips out. Dump them into a big Ziploc bag. Dump them into a, a, a canister. And I know this sounds extreme, but ain't your life worth it if you just got to do this Better for two be months? Better be safe than sorry. That's all yeah. I say. Better be safe. So. I know people have all these different other theories and everything else and what to do. But you know what? If if cleaning your hands is effective, my ass is doing it. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like common sense. That's it. That's you it. Know. All right, brother. Said, so no tiger talk aloud here. Sorry. No. Oh, ti oh. oh, you Tiger King? That's my someone, no, someone just said no tiger talk aloud here. Sorry. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I'm, so, I'm saying see Tiger it? King. Oh, my God. Tiger King going to bring the entire country together. I'm telling you now. <laughs> that thing, I got to I got to watch it again. I think I have to watch like like even like you know I paid attention to it but I think I need to really watch it again to get the Listen, no. Let's oh by the way there's a there's a oh there's a um 
my daughter sent me this out of all people, but there is there is something that you should follow <laughs> right now. I'm telling everybody who's a Tiger King fan, follow Tiger King memes. Listen, but is I, it? I don't want I don't want to be very disrespectful, but but this is what she's this is what this this one meme is. <laughs> I gotta read it backwards. It is, it is him. He got he got a sack across his eyes, and it's right. like Travis. I'm trying to work on the computer. Did you see the part when he the funeral? <laughs> I, I can't boy? believe some of the stuff that went on. I can't. I hope some of it because you know some things are produced. You know certain things that maybe a little produced, it, but regardless, you can't, produce, you can't produce what he said. <laughs> what he said. Those were like golden nuggets to that boy. He really loved those things. Love them. <laughs> Who says that? People, man, it happens. All right. People. Anyway, the, the name of it is the name of it is <laughs> Tiger dot King dot Memes dot Forever. <laughs> Basically, Tiger King Memes Forever, but with a dot in between. Right. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that. <laughs> Somebody said in front of his mother. <laughs> yeah. That was... <laughs> That's right. Well, the internet has no chill. <laughs> Tiger hey. boogers is worse. Oh my god! Aton said he keeps saying Aton keeps chiming and going. I think Jeremy started it. <laughs> the coronavirus. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> we blame him for everything. I know. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna head on out, man. I really appreciate you taking the time <laughs> to kind of just to BS with me. But I definitely we'll definitely do some more like this again, man. I think absolutely. You know, it's kind of fun and it's 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 great to kind of just get in there and just kind of talk a little bit. I know when when we talk too long, people get bored and shit. But I like it to where we just go in. Have a conversation, and maybe we should do we should do this a few more times. Just kind of come up with different uh, topics, and let's just, let's let's run some shit. Man. You got it, brother. Be good, man. All right, be safe, All man. Right. You guys take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. You got it.